Today we are here in my lodge and today we are going to be doing a great one rack and fur guide. We're going to have a look at all five great ones, every single rack that is available to all of them and all of their different fur types so that you know exactly which trophies are in the game and can see which ones you like the best and which ones you want to go for for your very next great one grind. Now this is my very first fallow multi mount and yes we are going to start off with fallow deer. This guy in the middle is a fabled silver with the Irish elk rack. Now, funny enough, I did state that the Irish elk rack is my favorite fallow great one rack. And to date, I have spawned four of them. I have four great one fallow and they all have the same rack. Kind of hilarious. This one here is a fabled golden. Absolutely beautiful. This is absolutely my favorite fallow combo. The silver with the Irish elk rack. And I have two of them. The other one's in the back there. And this is a fabled painted. And I love the painted as well. Now we're actually going to be going into I Buy Premium's Lodge. He is absolutely the king of the grind. He has, I don't even know how many great ones. Close to 60 great ones at this point and we definitely will get to see some things that I don't have in his lodge but this is the great one that spawned just a couple nights ago at only just less than 700 kills so that was a nice short grind that was July the 30th and that is a silver fallow with the Irish elk rack and that is probably the most popular combo in the game let me know in the comments which great one in general you would like which one you think is the most beautiful as we go through definitely let me know in the comments down below. Let's jump into iBuy's lodge. So a special thanks to iBuy Premiums for allowing us into his lodge. I can just come in here as a friend and not even have to bother him. So this is a painted fur with the saw rack. Now I think this rack is very cool. What do you guys think of the saw rack? It's not my absolute favorite rack for fallow, but it is a cool rack. At this point, I will take any different rack for my next fallow great one, but what I would really like is a typical rack. And here is the typical rack right here. So this is a multi mount of all silver furred great ones and the typical rack is the one right in the middle isn't it stunning i think it is my second favorite fallow great one rack number one being the irish elk rack this rack right here is the spoon rack or the mickey mouse rack now this is probably my least favorite rack for the fallow great one i mean they're all cool it's just not my favorite rack. Now let's have a look at their furs. So as we mentioned before, that is the silver and that is my absolute favorite fur. I think it is stunning. This here is a fabled mocha and that is the spoon rack. This is a painted with the Irish elk rack and the painted is beautiful. I love the painted. This is a fabled golden with the saw rack and the golden is really pretty as well. I do have one of those. And here are all of the furs all together if you want to compare them. I do have these charts posted in my discord for you guys to easily reference and I will leave the link below the video Would love to have you join. So those are all the furs for the great one fallow Now let's move over to moose and I do love the moose great ones So as far as the racks go, let's start with the racks. This is a spider rack now when this rack came out I didn't like it a whole lot, but it has definitely grown on me And I think it is a super cool rack now and this guy is a fabled birch and that is my absolute favorite fur type for the great one moose. Now this here is a typical rack and this is my absolute favorite rack for the great one moose. That and the big rack, which I'm gonna have to find one in here because the big rack is insane. Now with all of these, there can be split racks. So there are even more racks out there than what you see in today's video because I can't show you all of the split racks. You can basically take any of the two different racks and put them together and that can be a rack that spawns for you. So there really are many variations. Okay, so we are back in my lodge right now and this is the quad rack for the great one moose. This was my very first moose great one to spawn. This was a common. They are no longer in the game. You can only get one of the six different fur types for the great one moose now. And this is another spider rack. The typical rack, which is absolutely stunning with the birch fur. This is my absolute favorite great one that I have ever gotten out of all 18 of them. This is my favorite one. He is absolutely 
absolutely incredible. Now I couldn't find a big rack, but we do have an image. This is a big rack for the Great One Moose and this rack is absolutely stunning. I have seen these with the split rack and they look incredible as well. I would just love a big racked Great One Moose and that is what I will be grinding for. When I do my next moose grind, that is what I'm hoping to spawn. Now I buy did get a split rack, but I think it was on the beta, so that's why it's not in his lodge. Here is an image of it on my thumbnail on the left. That is a split rack and it is stunning. So for moose, these are the six different fur types that you can get for a great one moose. We have the speckled, which is not one of my absolute favorites, but they are all stunning. Birch is beautiful. Definitely my favorite. Ashen is also one of my favorites. And then we have the two-tone, very cool fur, the oak, and the spruce. So which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comments below, but they just keep making great ones better and better. And I am super excited for what we're going to see next. And then there are actually four different full racks for the great one moose. The typical right here, big rack, quad rack, and the spider rack, but there also can be split rack variations, making there be endless possibilities. Lots of different racks for the great one moose when you take that into account. And for me, the great one moose is my absolute favorite great one in the game. Now, before we go into this room, do not be shocked by the insane amount of Great One Whitetail. This is Ibai's Whitetail Great One room, and he has an insane amount of Great Ones. Now, you've got to remember, Ibai pretty much does nothing but grind for Great Ones in this game, and definitely going to give him a shout out. Check him out on Twitch. He is amazing at grinding out Great Ones. That is what he enjoys doing, and he does have close to 60 Great Ones in game now, and he is a lot of fun to watch, so definitely check him out. Here is the link on the screen screen and I will leave it in the description below. And let's have a look at the Great One Whitetail. So this guy right out in front is a beautiful example of a split rack. So the side on our left side, that is a drop tine rack. This one right here is the cluster or ground rack and it is very, very cool. That is definitely a popular rack. This beauty out in front is a big rack and that is actually what I would love to get for my next whitetail great one. I do not have one yet, but that is the biggest great one rack in the game. Now with the whitetail great one, there are no different fur this was the very first great one to come into the game. Maybe at some point they will add them. I don't know if they will or they won't, but Whitetail are still so much fun to grind because there are so many different rack variations that you can get. So this guy, he is very cool. That is a short rack. This guy right here is a drop tine rack. This is the blade rack right here. It is very similar to the crown rack, but it is a very cool rack. I mean, they all are. And I believe this one in the middle is a typical rack. Now, I could be wrong. If I am making any errors, you can definitely let me know in the comments, but this room is pretty insane, isn't it? And then there are a whole bunch in here that do have split racks. So it's very inspiring, I tell you. If you wanna learn how to grind out great ones, definitely come and hang out in iBuy's stream. This guy knows how to do this. He's got it down to a perfect science. And these are the six different racks that we have for the Whitetail Great One, and that is not including split racks. When you take that into account, Account. I have no idea how many different combinations there can be, but there are definitely a lot of whitetail great one racks. This is a super rare whitetail, 269.1, super rare piebald, and he did just get the melanistic not that long ago. He's probably out here, and there he is. Look at that, the whole set of super rare whitetail. Pretty nuts. So that is it for whitetail. It's getting a little dark in here, but we are gonna continue, and we're gonna have a look at black bears now. So this is my one and only black bear great one. This guy is a fabled glacier. He is definitely one of my favorite furs. I think he is very, very cool. So on the right here, we have a fabled spotted and isn't it insane? Absolutely beautiful. And then this guy on the left is a fabled chestnut. Now I love the colors in the fur of this one absolutely beautiful, especially around the face. It's inspiring me to maybe go back to black bear at some point. And then over here, we have two fabled spirit bears. And the black bear great ones are pretty gigantic. They are massive, massive bears. And then, not pictured in the lodge here, we also have a second glacier fur type. This guy has scars and no white chest. So all in all, we have glacier, glacier two, spirit, spotted, cream, and chestnut for the great one black bear. Yeah. 
So now we are back in my lodge and I do have six Red Deer Great Ones. Now there are three different racks. They are kind of hard to tell apart because there are not a lot of differences and there are no different furs for the Red Deer Great One. Although a lot of people in the community would love to see that changed in the game and furs added for the Red Deer Great One. But there is the small rack, the medium rack and the large rack. So for example, this guy here is a small rack and the reason you can tell that is the vines only go about halfway up the rack. When you look at one of the big racks, the vines go all the way up to the top and the racks are a little bit bigger, I believe. This is my biggest Red Deer Great one. I actually do have six of them, which is pretty crazy. And this is the medium rack. These ones usually score between 250 and 260 and the leaves still do go all the way up to the top, but no fur variations for the Red Deer Great One and not a lot of variations in the rack. So I really don't feel the need to go back and grind Red Deer a whole lot more because I really don't need any more Red Deer Great Ones until they do add more fur types for them. I don't know if they will, but I sure hope that they will at some point in the future. Thank you so much for watching and we will definitely see you guys in the next one.